The Indy was born in response to Polaris' rabid 1970s participation in all forms of snowmobile racing. Interestingly, the first Polaris snowmobile with an independent IFS suspension was the legendary RXL oval racing sled. However, the Indy technology developed on the iced oval pales when considering the amazing impact the original 340cc 56 horsepower liquid-cooled TXL Indy had on cross-country racing in the late 70s and early 80s. Quite frankly, when the TXL Indy arrived on the cross-country racing scene, it literally destroyed the competition. The sled had a stranglehold on the legendary Winnipeg to St. Paul I-500, making it almost pointless to race any other brand other than an Indy. Undeniably, the Indy was born to race. However, we suspect Polaris did not know how popular the Indy would become when it morphed into a full-on production model. By 1982, the Indy had swallowed the then-legendary liquid-cooled 500cc Fuji Triple and became the Indy 500, endorsed by the Indianapolis 500-winning Unser family. Something interesting happened in 1983 when the Indy chassis birthed the Indy Trail with a lowly 440, then a 488cc fan cooler under hood. This move absolutely cemented the future of the Indy chassis as a do-all, all-purpose platform.